Hi, my name is Nick Sauer. I'm with Again Pinball, and we're here to discuss how to test the power test power on your Vintage Valley pinball machines. We're going to be testing the power points on this station on the power transformer board here. There's five test points: one, two, three, four, and five, and we'll be testing those with our multimeter. We're going to test this by using our multimeter. This is a Fluke uh, 79 series. It comes with a number of settings to test various things. The two we're going to be concerned with today for testing the power transformer are the DC or AC and DC voltages. We're going to start by turning on to DC voltages since principally that's what the voltages are on that transformer board. First we're going to take our black lead and we're going to touch it to the ground strap in the head located right here. Take your red line and you're going to touch the test points 1, 2, 3, and 5 are your DC test points. Test point 1 should be about 5 volts DC. This is your logic uh, DC power should be around 5, anywhere between 5 and 7 in my experience. Test point 2 is your DC power for your displays. This should be somewhere around 220. This can run anywhere between 220 and 250 volts DC in my experience. Test point 3 is more of your logic power. Um, this should be around 12 volts DC, runs between 12 and 14. And finally, test point 5, we're going to skip 4 for now. Test point 5 is your solenoid voltage. This should be around 44 volts DC. It runs anywhere between 42 and 45 volts DC in my experience. Finally, we're going to test the uh, the one AC voltage on the power board. And so we're going to switch our multimeter to AC voltage. Um, the last power point on the board is test point four. This is your GI as well as your other lights, uh, controlled lights. This should be, it's nominally supposed to be like 6.3 volts AC. They, they run between six and seven and a half in my experience. Okay, um, that's testing all the voltages. If obviously you have to do this with the pinball machine on. If none of your voltages are there, make sure the machine is on. If they're still not there, you want to check fuse. Uh, the end fuse here of six. That's the fuse for feeds the power to everything in the pin. If any of the individual powers are not there, you want to check these fuse banks here. The fuses pretty much have a one-to-one -one correspondence with the test points. Um, when you check the fuses, obviously you want to turn the power off before you pull the fuses and check it with an ohm meter to make sure the fuse has uh, continuity. Where this information is available is in your pinball manual, if you have one, otherwise you can probably find the information online. You want to look under your power transformer uh, schematic uh, and go the test points are all right here as they are all labeled with the appropriate voltages they should, you should be reading. This is this uh, type of transformer setup was used from 77 to 79. There are three pins in 79 that use a slightly slightly modified version of this. Um, Kiss, Future Spa, Space Invaders have a slightly larger version. This board's got some big um, uh, air cooling uh, heat sinks up on the top of the board, but it looks still, schematically it's pretty much identical. Okay, for 79 and later um, games, Xenon and later. This is the third type of uh, power transformer module you'll see. This is actually in the base of, in the bottom of the cabinet of your pinball machines as opposed to the head. Uh, you want one, this is a slightly used one, it, has, it needs some tender loving care. They'll look a little better than this. But the test points on here are still, you still have the five test points. The big difference is the ground is now here, and the test points are scattered all over creation here. You've got test point one, two, three, four, and five. And they should, their, the test points are identical to the same situation you had on the uh, other Valley, earlier Valley models. Finally, if you want to test the board power um, distributed past the power transformer board to the other boards themselves, you can, there's test points on all the various boards here. Um, the big thing to remember is they usually have their own ground. You probably want to use those as a test off. Um, the test points are like the other board are scattered all over. Each board has them in different locations. You want to, again, go back to your schematics, check that, find out where the test points are located and what the reading should be on them.